It's Monday, October 5th, and today I talk with Perry Cancam about an app that he developed this summer called Blackable, and it, it's basically Yelp for the Black community. If you want to learn more about how he did this and some of the things that he learned while doing it, please give this a listen. Today I'm here with Perry Cancam. Perry, how are you doing? I'm great, splendid. Um, how about you? I'm doing great. Uh, for folks who are listening to this, you're missing out because there is a lot of good looking on the screen right now. I, mean, I don't know if people can take take this, you know, two, two fine looking men like us on one screen, but you, you may may need to back away from your computer right now. Uh, I joke around. It's good seeing you. It's been a while. Uh, um, love to catch up on you. You've been busy this summer. Um, summer of 2020 has been interesting and you've taken advantage of it by going out and building a new app. So tell me a little bit about um, this project that you've had. And, and I love that you're doing this. I think there's a lot of people at Three Will who want to stay up on the latest technologies and, and take some of these little side projects and go after them. So I'm, 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 I'm proud of you doing that. I'm glad that you're doing that. So tell me a little bit more about the project. Right. Um, thank you. Um, so this project began as me trying to, you know, expand my horizon and basically learn um, new things and apply them because I do learn and kind of um, self tutor and watch all these videos. But it's a different story or scenario when you have to actually bring them into the real real, real world experiences. Um, yes. Three will gives me the opportunity to apply some of these languages, but I've seen some new ones that I also wanted to kind of try on my own. So I had to make time for that. And that led to this um, summer project we speak of. Um, it's an app named Blackable that I built and created. And yeah, like literally from logo design to every line of code by myself. So it was pretty, my nerdy side tracked every bit of it. And it was like <laughs> 400, 463 hours to complete you track, you track the time that's all you, yeah, even, you, you bought the uh, you obviously own the domain and you yeah you, you went from you went what and you went from soup to nuts yeah yeah <laughs> definitely awesome and it, yeah it was a this, it was a <clears throat> a crazy project not having a yeah. project manager not having a ui guy not having it's a lot of nuts and bolts that goes into it to actually make a project function and mm -hmm. that made me appreciate appreciative for what three will provides for sure because me having to handle all the different pieces was it's it's a lot <laughs> it's a lot so um, well, that's I, I mean that's that's great that you I, austin and i austin um did the who's producing this podcast for us we we had this quote where we say and i got i picked this up from georgia tech which was ain't nothing easy and uh, when you're doing it for real it's like yeah. everything sounds easy but then yeah. when you try to do it for real yeah. it's not easy definitely so yeah. I, I picked i had a professor that I, so this is great so you even had the chance of did now did you use um did you use scrum did you use sprints or were you just you just had it you, you made it you actually tracked your time but yeah did you use like a sprints or how did you manage uh, what, so, what to go after next so my main managing tool was trello Okay. So yeah. I have known about Trello for a while, but I've never really gone into detail, or actually used it for anything yet. So uh -huh. yeah, I created a bunch of stories. So I used, it was I, um, Scrum, but kind of my own way, whatever worked for me, because um, I just created a bunch of stories um, and then had my done column, had my committed column, okay. had a few different columns and then just move things around just so I can track and know what's going on. So yeah, I used that and then I kind of estimated my stories based on what I felt like. Most of my estimations were re really off, but <laughs> um, <laughs> this, was, this was completely new, um, a new sector that I was venturing. So you had, uh, to, you had to fire yourself halfway through the project and say, <laughs> your estimates are way off. Yeah, they were I'm way sorry, off. we're going to need somebody who knows what he's doing here. Right, right, right. <laughs> but um, thankfully going in, probably the first, 50 to 100 hours, that's when I had issues estimating the most. Mm -hmm. um, but after that, there was things where I started to get a little more accurate because I knew what was going on and um, had more experience and knew what I was capable of and what what took me the most time and what the biggest challenges were, were and stuff like that. So after the first 80 hours or so, the estimation started becoming a little more accurate. And um, yeah, I used Trello as my main tool. Um, and then that's basically what helped me know where I was at, at what time, what my impediments were, what I needed to come back 
phase two. So you, yeah, you could tr just create a bunch of buckets. So I had a bunch of buckets that I was just dropping things in. So one of my buckets right now is phase two, and I have a few things in there that I'm nice. going to start working on, like um, search. I actually started working on that last night. So it's yeah, it's a it's a beautiful tool to uh, to use for sure, and it's free. So nice. And um, did you do any research? So sort of so the the uh, give us a, or, uh, so what problem does this solve? And I'll I'll hit okay. some marketing things too. So what what are you addressing problem wise that's missing out there in the marketplace? Okay, um, so at the moment, um, me as a black man, obviously, um, there's been a lot of um, friends and family that I have that have had many uh, multiple struggles with starting businesses, uh -huh. and mostly um, it's due to uh, a lot of issues that we're currently facing, um, be it racial, be it um, financial, a whole bunch of stuff, exposure issues and whatnot. So, yep. Um, while I was learning these new languages and these new platforms and technology, I really wanted to use it for something while while I was w learning them, but I couldn't really come up with any ideas. And um, one time we were at a family event and someone mentioned something about um, a directory. If it was available, it would be great because a lot of people want to actually support these black businesses, but just don't know how. Yep. So yep. this app I created um, is for everybody. It's for everybody, it's for every race, it's for every every soul. So anybody who wants to support the community because it's at a moment where we need it the most can yep. actually get this and then do what they need to do. Um, because I was just trying to remove that um, excuse of we don't know where to find it, we don't know how to do it. We don't know how to support, we don't know how to do this and that and that. So um, nice. that was my main goal for this. Um, this platform seeks to bridge um, the gap between um, black owned businesses and their potential companies, sorry, their potential consumers. So mm -hmm. um, instead of overwhelming um, users with thousands of results, I or we, my team, I don't really have a team yet. I'm still putting all that together. Oh, you could just say my team. Don't my, team to to sound more professional. <laughs> <laughs> my team, um, we carefully curate. We don't just pick any business, right? So mm -hmm. there's a criteria that I follow um for example online presence we're at a point where you can't just have a shabby business you have to actually put some effort in it so i'm helping those who are actually helping themselves so at the moment nobody's paying me any money or anything i just i think so far i've manually input over 300 businesses um i created my own admin portal and this is what is connected to my database and this is what updates the app in real time so um I yeah, it, it's been a lot of work, but I've learned a whole lot during this journey. Um, besides just helping or giving back to the community, it's been more of a um, learn something new every day from technology to wow, I didn't know these types of businesses existed to meeting some of these owners of these businesses. And it's been a fun little journey um, for a summer project. For what I was thinking, it's been very like I, so when I had this idea, I actually got a quote from one company and it was $21,000. So there was no way I was going to do that. So that was my biggest motivation because obviously I'm a software engineer. I knew I could build it, but I didn't think I could do such a clean job with the UI, especially because that's like my biggest deal. If I download an app and the UI is not good, I automatically delete it. I don't yeah. care what the backend has. So until I had a lot of sketches, I had a lot of things. I changed a few times until I could get that piece right. I knew that I could probably possibly make something big out of it. Um, so that was one of the most important things for me. And um, yeah, I wasn't going to pay $21,000 for it. And <laughs> one of the biggest things I've learned over the um, journey is time management. I was just, I just felt like I had a lot going on, so I couldn't build it. So I Trello has been an amazing tool for sure. So between um, three wheel and some other things I run on the side and that my summer has been very, 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 very busy. So it's been fun. Time management wise, I've learned a whole lot and how to actually maneuver around and um, use my time as wisely as possible. So yeah, it's been a, a lot of different um, um, skills that I've picked up that are not just technology at all. So that's, that's, that's amazing. So I think it's wonderful you've done this, and that you, um, the instead of 
you've given a way to for people to find to do something real to help um, the black community. I mean, this is really good that you instead of uh, you really focused in on something of how you can help. And I think that's pretty awesome. You've combined it with a lot of things where you're you're able to um, learn things yourself and grow yourself. Uh, what a wonderful way for you to spend this summer. And uh, that's that's it's pretty awesome. Um, can you do us can uh, maybe uh, do a little like demo? I don't know how okay. easy, easy it would be to do that, but uh, for yes. people who are um, people who are just listening to this, I'll try to talk. Maybe if you can talk through what you're doing, and then uh, this will encourage people to come over. You can. We also post these up on YouTube as well if you want to take a look at this. So, um, so Perry's walking through it right now for us. So walk walk us through the app. Okay. Yeah. Look. Before I get to the actual app, I'm just yep. so. I was surprised when I actually got this domain, but it was available, so I took it. <laughs> um, um, so this is the actual website for the people on the technical side. I use different technologies for the app and the website. So for the app, I use the Ionic platform, which is a hybrid language, which allows um, Android and iOS. Um, I did have issues on the Android side, but I, f I was finally able to get through it and learn some Kotlin, which is um, Android's um, language, and some Java. So it was a whole bunch of different challenges going through it, but this actual website is built with um, React, um, and this is just my way of basically testing around all these different things I'm learning. Um, obviously, with the Ionic platform, it uses Angular on top of it, so um, that's the website. And it looks, it looks great. Looks responsive. Looks uh, it, it looks awesome. Thank you. So yep, yeah. yeah, at the moment, it's both Google Play and um, Apple. So um, let's get to the actual app. It doesn't look as clean in the browser, but no, it, no worries. We can, yeah, we'll just work with that. So um, this is the banner. This is the UI that I ended up settling with um, after a whole bunch of back and forths. Um, these are all scrollable. I'm using my mouse, so it won't be as smooth. But yep. um, as you can see, we categorize these businesses so that it's easy for um, for you to come in and just say, hey, this is what I'm looking for, and this is how I want to support or whatever. So um, we have a feature space, basically the businesses who are doing outstanding, um, up to five different businesses can go up here. And this is the trending section. So whoever is getting, I have a little algorithm I wrote in the database. Basically, whoever is getting the most um, attention, we're, used, we're measuring this based on their reviews and if they're actually positive reviews. So if you're getting a lot of attention, but they're not good reviews, you're not going to make it on here. So nice. um, obviously, um, these businesses are going to range from food to hair to whatever. So um, if you also come down to this tab, this is Explore tab, and these are the categorized sections. Um, there are a plethora of Black-owned businesses in, in the world but I'm curating this. I'm picking up the best that I feel like is it's what you would want to check out because I don't are you it, start. Are you starting just with Atlanta or how sort of how you growing to different geographies? Yep. So that was one of the fun parts of this project. So I'm actually going to talk about it in a second. Um, OK, sorry, sorry. It's OK. <laughs> um, so um, the mileage, I have my um, computer allowing my location, so it shows how far okay. everything is for me now. That, uh -huh. believe it or not, took me about 50 to 70 hours. <laughs> um, oh, really? So like geolocation, like where are you yeah. located and then how far away that place? Is? Do you, right. Did you use like a service for that or how did yep. you? How did so you I use a service. There is something called, uh, I'll get the name, but it's a, a math equation that you actually use to calculate how far you use the Earth's radius. It's a lot of new things I didn't think existed, but <laughs> yeah, it was it was interesting. But this actually, whenever you first load the app, it asks for your location, and that's what the location is used for. Um, if I wanted to come in here, um, this is this will give you a description about the business. Actually, let me go to one that has quite a lot. Uh, let's see, subline donuts. Okay, so description about the business, and then uh, it's a picture. You can favorite these. And when you favorite them, it actually, uh, I'll talk more about the favorite feature in a minute, um, but you can share with your friends. Um, this gives you, you can go to the website, they view their menu, their open hours, their Instagram, their Twitter, their Facebook, their social nice. media, their phone number. And if you click any of these on your phone, it goes directly to a call. If you click this, 
If you're on an Android phone, it goes directly to Google Maps. If you're on an Apple phone, it goes directly to Apple Maps. Um, if you open these websites or menus, I have an inbuilt um, browser inside of the app where it wouldn't take you to Safari. You actually open it there, and then you can done it if you're if you're done, or you can keep clicking if you need to. Um, you can leave a review, um, five star, whatever. Um, I had a, I put a, a check for basically if Danny puts his name, obviously you have to create an account first. So you do create it. So you, you have people creating accounts yeah. on it. I'm logged in already. So okay. um, one person per one business per review. So you okay. can't leave multiple reviews on one business. So um, if you click to read the reviews, you'd see um, some reviews. Let me actually go to this business. The trend in one would, this one has a lot of reviews. So I'll just use this. And for example, this is my friend. This is she does hair. So this is me trying to help her business. Nice. Um, so click here. She has multiple reviews. If I wanted to add one, I could add one here and then put my name, my comment, and then five star or whatever, and then submit it. And it goes directly to my database in the back, and then it loads directly. Uh, uh, it's real time. Everything's real time. So um, awesome. now to your question about the cities, um, I have a plethora of cities now. So this is where I'm at now. Um, the cool thing about this and the most difficult, one of the challenging things for me was how do I allow users to select a city so that as soon as they click something, the entire app changes to that city. Yeah. So that took me a while, but I was able to get around it. For example, let's go to London in the United Kingdom, um, in Europe. So now we're in London. Everything's going to switch to London. So, nice. um, this is restaurants in London. These are featured restaurants in London. These are the trending restaurants in London. Um, there's Toronto, Canada. There's Houston. Let's go to Houston. And um, these are this is what's happening in Houston. So this is not just business wise. This is a travel app too. So for example, I'm in Atlanta, but next week I'm going to Houston. I want to see what's happening in Houston so that I can make a plan for whatever while I'm out there. So I want to do nightlife in Houston. So I come to Houston and these are a few night lives. And um, if you realize if you're out of a hundred mile radius, I don't show the how far it is from you anymore. Gotcha. I I list it by the most relevant and that's by how many ratings versus how good the ratings are. Um, so this starts from the top first, the highest ratings. So Prospect Park has one rating, which is a five star. So they are first. So for example, I'm gonna go to Houston I'll favorite this so that when I get to Houston, I have everything in the collection. Nice. So inside of here, I come to my favorites and Prospect Park is right here. And I have a few other places I favorite it. Um, so I'm going to go back and then um, that's going to lead me to this tab. Um, this is update profile. For now, it's just your first and last name you can update. These are your reviews that you've left. You can um, edit the reviews and then change the stars. And whenever it gets back to the database, I have an algorithm node.js function in the back that basically takes every new review and then um, takes the average of the place and then adds it to it. So um, nice. those are the reviews. Um, this is your location. You can switch location from here too. And then this is support. This is just information on how to find us and whatnot. Um, app version is supposed to show the current app version, but it needs the um, actual phone um, um, resources to do that. So it won't load on the browser. Um, and one last thing is the deals. So this is deal section. Every basically nice. every company that wants to do deals with Blackable gets listed here. Um, these are online businesses, so these don't use location. You get this wherever you are in the world. So um, yeah, that's nice. pretty much it. Um, this top banner is actually clickable. So you click that and it takes you to a link. I this morning I was just working on a new banner to register to vote. So by end of day today, it's going to be up um, on the um, header. So yeah, that's that's pretty much a long and short of it. It's much slicker. It's much cleaner on the phone. So anyone listening to this, it's free to download. So um, App Store, Google Play, and, um, and just search for Blackable. Yep, and that's Blackable the best way to get into it. Or go to blackable.com and then you can click from right here. It's nice uh, call to yeah. action. So you're man, I'm, I'm gonna start pulling you in on some of our marketing stuff. You watch out. <laughs> I don't know about all that. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's it's pretty much clear cut and straight to the point. So um, yeah, it's 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 just a lot of things that you wouldn't think to or consider when you're when you think about a business or an app. But 
-hmm. once you start to get into it and build stuff like even a website to the app is something i didn't even consider and then i'm doing it i'm like oh i think i need a landing page oh i think i need that it's just a, it's just a lot and trello was my best friend this summer for sure because anything i think of i just type it in there in my MIS, MISC um, bucket, and then I come around later and then I sort it around. So it's it was an amazing tool for me. Pretty much like DevOps, but I think um, Trello was just, for a one-man job, it was just easier and faster yeah. for me to get in. It almost, it almost sounds a little bit like you were doing like a, a Kanban where you're dropping them in the right lanes just as you were getting them done and more of more of just managing this the state of the different things that you were working on, which is great for... Totally. Um, and it was a lot of things. So I'll just give you an idea. So nice. these are my notes and stuff like that. Um, this is my marketing section. This is my Good. PR. Yeah, yeah. It's, <laughs> yeah, it was quite a lot. But this is my done part two. It's just things that it's not it wasn't official or professional at all. It was very things I want to understand my way. It looks but, great. I, yeah. I mean, I, 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 I'm, it's amazing what you were able to do. Um, Thank you. The uh, one of the things, so I, I, you know me, I'm an ideas guy. So uh, from a marketing standpoint, what would be interesting for you to do is to have something where um, either you're sending out or somebody, or even these different places that want to list on um, on Blackable that they get a sticker that says like um, featured on Blackable. So that when somebody goes into the store, they see that it's like almost, and you've probably seen this, it's a, probably a cheap way to market mm -hmm. and having something that's a physical thing that's in, you've probably already done this and it's probably on your board. But, <laughs> but I just, I, I really see this as being something like you go into this, the whatever restaurant that you have and they see that, you see that featured on sign in the front of it and you're, they're downloading your app all of a sudden while they're you know waiting to go eat. Or yeah. they're waiting for something else. I I, yeah. I could see that being a really good because the key is is moving from the virtual world into the physical world, mm -hmm. and how do you get people to know this is out there? Um, and stickers and like I always try to look at like what what is something that um, you know is something that you can get out into the physical world that's not expensive, and a sticker is something I could definitely see people putting this on the front of their business and saying like featured and blackable and then. You almost have like the app, the uh, the two app store icons, so they know they can go download the app, and then all of a sudden they're using it to find other businesses. Yeah, yeah, that's amazing that you mentioned that. I didn't think about stickers, but I definitely have um, um, the huge flyers that they could paste on their um, thing. So yep. yeah, I have that in my PR marketing section for sure. Talk to um, talk to Austin because we we de we um, we've got a company that we use called Sticker Mule that you can get like lots of stickers that um, that may be a good um an expensive option for getting the name out there in the, in the physical world so it's cool. man holy cow um so can i um so so you're gonna sell so what's gonna happen here is somebody's gonna come by and buy this from you you're gonna <laughs> take the proceeds of that to buy three will from tommy and i and then you're gonna list three will on black Bull. is that what's gonna happen is that your master plan i, I know, know what you're up to i don't know if know what you're that to. much for me to buy three will but <laughs> <laughs> I, know what you're up to. I know i see your plan i got i'm on uh, this looks great, and I, I thank you so much for uh, for walking us through this and taking the time to go through this. And thank you for just personally like growing and and seeing a need that's out there and a way to support the black community and just in, and just doing something like this so that you're growing. It's just another sign of how awesome you are, and um, just I'm, I'm, uh, this is just wonderful stuff that you've done here. Um, and again, also as you're building this from a Marketing, I'd, I'd love to help out however, you know, I can with my bad ideas. <laughs> you can just ignore them. But, uh, you know, this is this is great stuff. So thank you for taking the time to show this off. And uh, again, for just to reiterate there um, to get this off of the let's do a little bit more promotion maybe here that blackable.com is the website and then you'll just search on uh, it's both in the play store and the app store and you'll just search for blackable there yeah and then um or do you want people to follow you on twitter or any other like the social uh ways or anything that you would really like to point out that people can follow what you're up to here um i mean the the most ideal and biggest support is just to have the app and actually go out and 
just make it a thing, like a fun thing. Hey, I want to support one restaurant a month or, you know, I don't really care for the follows and stuff. I just I just actually want these businesses to kind of feed off of this and kind of make this a Yelp sort of, if possible, you know, that actually helps these businesses grow. So as long as they have the app, blackable.com or blackable search in Google Play or apps, the App Store, I think that's enough. The rest and is going to do write a review. I would say I'd encourage people to write a review after you go to a yes. place. <laughs> if totally. it's a place that you love, that you know is own, own um, uh, you know, is 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 something that you want to promote within your community, then then go review it and make sure yeah. that other people know um, know about yeah. the place. Because to share, it's really easy for people to do that as well. Yeah, because that's that's the only way. So for sure, share it and yeah, reviews are. And um, that's one thing. I think I have this idea in my PR list, which might not be such a great idea, but um, I'm going to be doing like random um, Rockville draws of like maybe $100 for people who've left actual genuine reviews and stuff like that. So I feel like that's going to be the component that's that's actually helping Yelp move fast a lot because people actually leave reviews. People come back and it's like a fun thing. So. I need to turn that around and try to make it a fun thing to, for people to actually leave reviews because me in the past, I was not the review guy. But now if I actually, if something's actually blows my mind or something is very, very below par, I actually come back and leave a review. So I just know because it just helps. So um, one last thing, I actually, I'm still writing this algor um, algorithm or function, but it's for the database that we're going to be actually auditing these businesses. I'm just waiting for it to grow a little more, but after every uh, month or every other month, um, what this function is going to do is take every single place or business that we have on file. If you have less than two stars, you get kicked off. So um, it, I just want some exclusivity with this. And I think when people have exclusivity, they're more likely to use things because they know things have actually, the work's been done for them. They just have to go check it out. So yep. if you're getting all these bad reviews and it's continuous, you're yeah, you're gonna get kicked off and you're gonna have to join the long line and try to make it back on again. So yeah, that's a function I'm actually currently write, writing for the database. Just one last idea, or or since I'm a marketing guy, you you've just the way that you've described this is this is Yelp for black owned businesses. Right. right. I think that's that's a really that summarizes what you've got here. And I think that's that's because people will like go like, well, what is this? And describing it in a way that people understand, I think. Yes, yeah. that's, that's the one liner for sure. That's your one. Li I mean, that's your one liner. Yeah, I don't know yeah. if you need anything more than that. But yeah. and that everybody knows like, OK, well, I get that. I get what you're trying to get what you're trying to do there. Mm -hmm. um, so great stuff. Good seeing you. I look forward to seeing you in person someday. Yeah. Uh, when we get back, maybe after the new year, whenever we get back into the office. But uh, congratulations on this. Continue the the good work. Last thing, what do you think are some of the? What, what do you want to take to projects from this? Is there any certain technologies or anything you've learned, maybe in general, that you feel like you want to to use on your next project at Three Will? Yeah. Um. So for sure, Angular. Um. I actually ended up using my website as react because I did some react stuff in SharePoint um, building a um, SPFX which is a custom web part for two clients so far but I didn't go as deep as I, I wanted to so that's why I actually delved into learning more of it and then that's kind of why I, I, I decided to just use react for my the actual website so I have used some of these languages at three or already but yeah definitely react would like to delve more into it if any projects do open up they're challenging um one page languages but they're they're fun when the challenges are, are, figured, are rectified or figured out so yeah for sure the the newer languages angular is by google react is facebook um yeah the javascript languages are definitely where i'm taking my focus more now Great stuff. Well, thank you for doing this. It's good catching up with you and hope you have a great fall and we'll, we'll talk to you soon. Okay. Thanks. All right. Great. All right. Thank you guys. Bye-bye. Thank, thank you for listening to the work together better podcast. We're available on SoundCloud, iTunes, Stitcher, and TuneIn. If you're looking for a partner to help you craft a modern digital workplace on the Microsoft cloud, please come by and see us at three will.com. That's the number three spelled out W I L L.com. Thank you and have a great day.